Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on the planet. Let me just get this button done. There we go, it's better. So, quick video today to explain a couple of things. Mouth to lung, straight to lung, direct to lung, and all the jars that's in between. We have a couple of devices which you can direct along and the mouth to lung. So, to show you the difference, it's pretty simple. Straight to lung, direct to lung. It's literally where you push that button. And that's all you do, straight into your lung. You don't hold it in your mouth, you don't smoke it like a cigarette. Okay, so you literally push the button. And you just exhale it. Nine times out of ten is a new vapor. I don't recommend that you hold it in, okay, like this. Unless you've been vaping for a while. When you first start to straight along, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, but anyone on the planet can do it, and the trick to it is inhale and exhale with maximum effort. I call it my Deadpool vaping, okay? Because Deadpool did everything maximum effort. So this one. In and out. Don't hold it in because you probably cough your lungs up. Now, when you've got a small device like a T20, Poc X, um, a K2, a uh, Breeze, you can do what's called mouth to lung. And that's a little bit different. You smoke it like a cigarette, okay? The biggest difference between the two, apart from the style in which you're vaping, is the nicotine strength. If you're on a mouth to lung, you can get away with 18 milligram, 12 milligram, 6 milligram. Ah, this is a 6. Anything more is too much for me. On these ones, though, I wouldn't go any higher than a 3 because of the volume of vapor you're creating by doing that mouth directly into your lung. So the best big differences are the way you do it and also the strength of nicotine. If you're doing a mouth to lung, you can get away with high nicotine. If you're doing straight to lung, six is the most. There's a lot of people out there that I know personally will do 12 and 18 straight to lung, but they're psychos, really. They are psychopaths. I couldn't do it. I've done it before when I've had to do, like, on an RDA when I didn't know it was 24 milligram, and I've... That's not good. Honestly, it's not good. It, it hurts, and it makes you cry. So, mouth to lung, high nicotine. Straight to lung, no, low nicotine. And when you're doing it, don't hold this in, but you can hold this in. So, for now, there's a little explanation on mouth to lung versus straight to lung. For those of you who don't know, watch the video again. <laughs> Bye.